Hi, this is Rick. Uh, this video is a quick recording of using vo a presentation using VoiceThread as a student. So I'm going to go ahead and bring up my screen. Uh, so here we are in our Blackboard class. I'm going to scroll down a little bit and click the VoiceThread link using VoiceThread as a student. So click that link and then just hands off, hands off the keyboard, hands off the mouse, just wait. That we're being now passed from Blackboard into the VoiceThread environment. Just give it a moment to launch. Eventually the screen will go black, the little wheel will spin, and here we are inside of VoiceThread. So VoiceThread is integrated with the Blackboard. Your students will access VoiceThread from your Blackboard course using a link you put there for them. I'll show you that later, but this is showing it the student experience. So notice I'm here in VoiceThread. It's being displayed inside of this window in a frame inside of the larger Blackboard window. I like having a little more real estate when I'm over in VoiceThread, so call your attention to this link here open in a new tab. So I'm going to go ahead and click that and it opened up a new tab with VoiceThread. I still have my Blackboard link over here. I could do all my work here if I wanted to, but I just like having a little more space when I'm here in VoiceThread. So this first slide, title slide, example VoiceThread exciting vacation activities. So I'm going to be quiet for a moment and just play the comment that's recorded and attached to this initial VoiceThread slide. Welcome to this sample VoiceThread. The theme of this voice thread are our exciting vacation activities. So I've shared a couple slides that tell you something I've done on a recent vacation. And then after you view those, you to also use those to show some capabilities of voice thread. After you view those, continue to the end and then upload a picture of something you did on a recent vacation that was interesting or exciting and then record a brief description to tell us all about it. I look forward to hearing about them. Okay, so when you're ready to advance to the next slide, go down to here to the lower right hand corner and click the forward button. So there are a number of ways to comment on a voice thread and when comments are made they just get added to the bottom one after the other after the other and I'll just go ahead and hit play. First you see there's a text comment there and then we go to the second comment which is I am now recording an audio comment that will be added to this voice thread slide. And then on to Hi, I'm recording a video comment to be added to the slide as well. All right, so those are an example of some of the comments that are added. To actually make a comment, uh, mouse over. You may notice when you mouse over a slide, you have the little plus in the bottom center of the screen. So just click on that plus. And if you click ABC, you can use text, type in your text comment. It gets added to the end after all the others. Um, I'll skip over the phone so that you can record. So I am now recording a comment and it'll be added to this slide as well. So I am now recording a comment and it'll be added to this slide as well. It gives you a chance to listen to it and if you like it, click save and it gets added. If you don't like it, click cancel and you can re-record it as many times as you want. So I like this, so I'll hit save and that'll process and then get added to the end. So I am now recording a comment and it'll be added to this slide as well. Uh, going on, if I want to do a video, it's not going to let me because I'm already using a screen capture software to, to create a video, so it, that's why I'm getting this error message. But normally I would just, you know, get a 3, 2, 1 and then it would, you know, Hi, I'm recording a video comment to be added to something like that. So to do uh, that's video. If I had a, a, a longer piece of uh, audio saved as an mp3, for example, I could upload that file as a comment. Or this one I really like. You can actually use a phone. So I'm going to click, when a student clicks the phone icon, the very first time they type in their phone number. And so I've already done that. So type in and call me and in a minute my phone will ring I'll answer it uh, it's 980 area code North Carolina on my phone this is voice thread at the tone please leave your comment when you're finished just hang up or for more options press one so I'm now recording a comment for voice thread using my phone and when I hang up this will be processed and added to the slide as well I hung up. Hello. 
also I'm now recording a comment for VoiceThread using my phone, and when I hang up, this will be processed and added to the slide as well. So as long as you as a teacher enable students to be able to comment on a VoiceThread, they can do all this as well. And I'm going to go on to the next slide and share. So this is where we're about five minutes in. It'll take about another five-ish minutes to share my exciting vacation activities, then allow you to do the same. So... Hi, this is Rick. The vacation activity I am going to share is co-steering on the Isle of Man. A couple years ago, went over to visit some friends that live on that little island in the middle of the Irish Sea, and they arranged for us to go on a co-steering trip. So go to the next slide and I'll tell you what that's all about. So co-steering is a fancy term for jumping in and out of the ocean off a bunch of rocks. So you don't really need to listen to that. But uh, So I've uploaded these pictures as slides, and so I'm recording comments telling you about this. So basically we got uh, with some guides and some wetsuits, and I will show you uh, this next comment. So not only can you record a comment and add it to the image, uh, you can actually draw on the screen while you do that. Okay, so we uh, parked in this little parking lot here in the foreground and met our guides there. Then we walked out along that sandy beach down here, went into the water, and then uh, right around here, you know, just kind of in this water was just a foot level. And so like probably like right around here, our guide had us uh, first just kind of practice falling into the water and then we swam and then cl climbed out and then fall fell back in again. And then we swam down and around here. And then around this point, we started getting a little higher. And so uh, like right around here, you know, we jumped off like a three, four foot tall rock. And then like around the corner, there's like a five, six foot tall jump we did. And then around here, there's actually a tunnel, or not like a cave, that goes underneath the island a little bit. All right, that's enough. So on the next slide, I'll show you how to do those annotations. So this is just an aerial view, and I'm to, uh, I'll do, do some drawings that say what we did. So I'm going to make a comment, and while I'm recording this audio comment, to get my little countdown, there's while I'm recording this audio comment, I have a little pencil. And so I click on that pencil, and I can actually pick a color that I want to draw on the screen with. So let me choose red. And so kind of we this is the sandy beach we walked out along and then we came over here and then practiced falling in the water and then swam down around and then we jumped off a five foot rock and then down here's like the cave and we kept going and then jumped off higher and higher things and so on and so on and so on. So notice the the drawings I made are fading from the screen. And that's a setting down here. So while you're drawing you can the automatic setting is fade, but if you don't want them to fade, you can just click there, and those drawings stay on the screen. So you've got a number number of colors to choose from. So one of these should work to contrast your background. So you've got white, a yellow, a little darker golden yellow. You just pick the color of the pencil you want. Uh, red we already saw, purple, blue. green, and then black. So one of those colors should work with what you want to do. And again, you're going to have, the, have those fade or over time or just all stay on the slide. So I'll go ahead and stop recording. And I'll wait for a moment to that. Gets recording this audio comment, okay, I... So we don't listen to that again. So we saw that. Um, one more thing before I go to the next slide. So then, so all, up till now, these examples have been images. And you can either upload like a PowerPoint or individual image slides, and I'll show you that in a few moments. Uh, and another thing you can do is, instead of using an image, you can use a video as the background to your voice thread. So the next slide we're going to go to, uh, my friend Liam, who organized, organized this trip, took his GoPro camera on it. And so, oh, oops, wrong way. This slide is actually the video he posted from YouTube. So I'll let this play for a minute or so until Vicky falls in the water and then I'll go on from there. Uh, notice while this is going on the video is playing and there are three 
points in the video, they have little blue dots on it. If I mouse over, you see those blue dots correspond with comments that have been made on this video, all by me. One at 45 seconds in, one seven and a half minutes in, one nine and a half minutes in. So. It is Monday, 14th September 2015. And you're watching Edible Video Live! Alright, actually, I've finished. But uh, this is the intro uh, of the video you're about to watch. We've just been co-steering. And uh, one thing's for sure, you cannot do this in Vegas. Alright, hope you enjoy it. So that's us walking across the beach. I pointed out two or three times. I'll go about another 30 seconds or so till Vicky falls in the water, then I'll go forward. All right, that's good. So these comments, you can click on any one and it'll tell you. So it tells you how I met Liam and why he's talking about Vegas. Uh, this comment here at that point, one thing I learned later, Vicky was afraid of heights. And then this last comment, I will let play it full out. Um, you don't, can you can make more than just text comments. So, so I actually did a clip and it'll play that little clip and I did some annotations on it. So I'm going to let that whole thing, that whole comment play. Another thing you can do in VoiceThread is stop a video at a certain point and record a comment and highlight some things about the video. So I stopped the video at this point and this is one of the higher cliffs we jumped off of and I'm recording this comment right now. You can also have your doodling tools available to you. So, you know, this is Vicky who's about to jump off. Um, this was one of the guides at the bottom. This is another guide up top, making sure everything's going around. And I'm actually way around the corner over there. So I jump in after she does. So I think I should be able to play and watch her go. So this is the uh, guide giving some instructions. And then. Uh, this is me in that red swimsuit and rust colored swimsuit and I'm about to go next. So again, the point is not to watch me jump off a cliff, but uh, it's to show that you can stop a video, you know, do these annotations. So we jumped in and then we swim over here and we helped our get at each other you know, so you get the idea so you can draw play fast forward I mean you use the slider bar to go forward or backward to any other point in the video and then this becomes appended at the end as another voice thread comment so now it's your turn so upload an image of you doing something adventurous or interesting so which is you know, why I asked you to save an, an if a photo of yourself as a file on your desktop before the session and then use the commenting feature to record a brief description of what you did. So to do that, come down here to the show all slides. So after your turn you'll see at the very end you'll see a little plus and if you click on that plus you get three options. Choose the middle one for upload file and you can see I've already done this before. So navigate to where you have your image file saved. I said to save on the desktop. So I've got this image of myself and my partner Amy on in uh, Harry Potter world and Universal. And so the image is uploading and is processing. And while that's processing, I'll take the opportunity to say if you want well, it's done. Well, if you don't have an image, you can just click on that plus and use the record video and use your webcam and record a, a quick picture of yourself saying hi to us. And so once you've uploaded your image, just click on it. That takes it back here where you can comment. So click on the little plus and then you can record and you've seen this before. So you start recording and tell us what you were doing on that vacation. So, so okay, cancel. So go ahead and Click the plus, upload your picture, 
record a comment on it, um, and then uh, come back to the main room in Collaborate and we'll go on from there.